Oh, you're not going yet, are you? No, darling, I've just come to get a couple of apples for the journey. Well, don't forget to give me a goodbye kiss. Blimey, I'll be back tonight. Angie, can I have a word? Yeah, good can, darling. Morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Oh, close. Yeah, I'll tie her off to the motor fair. I've got a new motor. So you're taking the club's man to Jan's today? Yeah, well, she's been on to me. Spend some more time with her. Stay overnight and all that. But you just told Angie to be back this evening. Yeah, all well, best played plans and all that. Ah, the unavoidable delay. Circumstances beyond my control. Mechanical failure. Distributor. Gasket. Big end. It's a wonder who invents in the motor car, then. Yes, and I'm just going to pop these in the back of mine before she starts snooping round again. Don't forget to give us a kiss. Goodbye, Dennis. And remember, timing's vital with truffles. Don't let them overcook. Do you fancy popping round late? I see if I've got it all right. Oh, I'm a bit busy. What time's Dan back? About half nine. OK, I'll pop in just before. Oh, thanks, darling. I'm ever so grateful. What with him giving me the golf clubs and all, I want it to be really nice. Mm. You know, perhaps we're going up market after all, eh? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I've got to dash. So I'll see you later. All right, sweetheart. Ta-da. What was all that about? Never you mind. Evening, town. Haven't seen you for a while. Well, I've been busy. Finishing my flat on the first floor. Cool. It's never done, is it? Oh, <laughs> uh, yes, at long last. Yeah, it was a toss up what was finished first. His flat or the Channel Tunnel. <laughs> oh, we'll have to get you digging that then next time. <laughs> okay. Next week, when I put a flat on the market and the rent start rolling in. Oh, welcome to the gravy train, my son. Oh, thank you, my man. A round of drinks for my two fellow tycoons here. Oh, he's got style. Yeah, let's hope he's got some money. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Pete, all out to the local colour, don't we? No, we've got enough of that around here with him, haven't we, Tony? Aye. I'll see you later. <laughs> the perils of marriage. Oh, I don't know, too. Uh, give me independence any time. And now I'm going to be a man of means. I still reckon you can't be a good marriage. You're a gentleman. And uh, you're a sandwich, right? Yeah, I am. I've got good reason to be. It's a secret. Here, buy your drink, eh? On the air. To your new flat and my little secret. Baby's life born up. Here, have a look. Ta da! <laughs> what, that old Ufa? That's funny. They're gone. It was a set of golf clubs. It was there last night. Might be doing them somewhere else. Or perhaps he's tightened to wrap them out. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, bless him. You go upstairs and have a look at the knobs. Oh, right. I'll Nothing. see you in a minute. Right. There was a point to it then, when we were both working to build a home together and start a family. Yeah. Now it's all work, work, work and no appreciation. Well, no one gives you handouts in this life, sir. No, Tony, that's not true. In Bangladesh, people do help each other. There's a real community there. Hi, Saeed. Buy a drink, mate. No, thanks, Saeed. I've already got one. Oh, in a minute, perhaps. Look, now, about the flat, right? I We've... really don't want to discuss it now, thanks, Ali. No? Oh, right. Well, if you are getting rid of it, me and Sue be very interested. You get the new flat out? I'm trying to. Well, Tony's got one, have you? Have you? Yes, well, I have got one, but I'm going to go through an estate agent and let them advise me about letting it off. Oh, they'll only tell it to charge the earth. That's all they're after. Look, how about letting me and Sue have it, eh? We'll give you a fair price for it. Look, I'm sorry, Ali, but I've decided to do it properly. As a proper business-like, it's better that way. Everybody's into business. Well, it makes the world go round. I thought that was love. Yeah. <laughs> Why bother with estate agents, eh? Me and Sue could be in here tomorrow and you could start getting money straight away. I'm sorry, Ali, I've already decided. I want to keep myself at one remove. Let the agents handle it. Oh, come on, Tones. I thought this was supposed to be a community. Right. I mean, why do you want to bother with strangers for? Eh? I mean, what about looking after your own kind? Oh, that's precisely what I am doing. Looking after my own. Me and Kelly. You know, I, I put a lot of time and money in that place, and I want as much return as I can. I mean, I need to pay off an overdraft. I'm sorry, you will just have to join the program. No, oh, thanks for nothing. Sorry, Tom. Do you reckon them deaths? All right. Mm. It's very good. Is it classy enough? I got the crystal today. Mm. Well, what's the matter? Is it the crystal? Well... Um, well, what is it then? He'll be here in a minute. Well, it's not one thing in particular. Yeah. Well, what is it then? It, well, to be honest, it's just the overall effect. What do you mean? It's too... Well, it's a trifle ostentatious for really good taste. You mean I've gone right over the top? Yeah, just a bit. Well, what am I going to do? Um, is it the candles? No, they're no. fine. Fine. The flowers? The flowers, yeah. Get rid of the flowers. All right, Kath, I'm coming. Debs, I won't be a minute. All right. Hello, darling. How are you doing? Hey? What? How late? Oh, then why? 
But what you got to take him for a meal for if you're buying a car off of him? No, I won't wait up for you. I'll bleed and we'll lock you out. Problems? He's seeing that woman again. I can hear it in his voice. I'll bet that's who the golf clubs were for. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna bleed and we'll kill him. Sorry, that's my fault. I should have phoned. But you said it was right for me to stay here from tonight. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot. Oh, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. There's no harm done. Oh, what must you think of me? Well, I quite enjoyed it. <laughs> it's not every day I get a beautiful lady fling herself at me. I'll bet. <laughs> you got bother with him? Don't let's talk about him, eh? You had any supper? Apart from in your lap, I mean. Yeah, Pete and me got a Chinese. Oh, so I can't interest you in me truffles then, eh? Oh, no thanks. <laughs> no, it sounds like Rich's time of night. Do you fancy a drink? Have a night, cafe. Eh? Yes, Matthew. Come on. You got a match for the candle? Yep. Scotch all right? Yeah, lovely. Yeah, let there be light. <laughs> I think. There you go, then. Cheers. Bottoms up, eh? <laughs> this is a lovely spread. You expect him royalty? Yeah, King Rat. Never mind. I got Prince Charming instead, didn't I? You know, I think I've always done my welcome at Cathy's. It's yeah. a bit small, you know. There's plenty of room here. You're more than welcome. It's very kind of you, Angie. I'm wet. Yeah. I was about to turn in myself. Come on. Oh, thanks. Oh, which is my room then? Well, it's up to you. Spare room's there. I sleep in there. Take your pick. I think I'd better sleep in the spare, wouldn't I? <laughs> You know, I'm really very grateful for this, Angie. Well, you don't have to be grateful. You can be pampered as well. Listen, I'm sorry about the welcome earlier. It's not really my style at all. <laughs> welcome to the Vic, eh? I think you're going to be really happy here. If you want anything, just yell. Don't bother to knock. I'll leave the door open, eh? Good night. We don't stand a chance, do we? We're in here, Ange. Yeah, in here. I'm sorry to butt in like this, Paul, but... Oh, don't you look elegant. Mm -hmm. Oh, do I? <laughs> I'll come in with Angie. Willie's getting cold. Oh, sit down there. Uh, oh. Bad news, folks. Oh, uh, what? Den can't be godfather. Oh, I knew it was too good to lose. Why not? Unavoidably detained, he says. Oh, God, where does that leave us, then? Oh. Mum, Pete, can I'm so embarrassed, Arthur. I couldn't be more embarrassed. Well, where is he? Well, that's the point, and it. Where is he? What's wrong? Oh, Dennis can't be godfather. He can't make the ceremony. It can't be avoided, though. What's he up to? All right, Michelle. No, it's not all right. Michelle. What? Look, if Den said it can't be avoided, then it can't be avoided. Is that right, Pete? Yeah, sure. We ain't got to cancel again, have we? Oh, this kid will never get a name. We've got enough godparents, haven't we? I suppose so, but I wanted Dennis. Oh, I, I rang the vicar. He said you can have a proxy godfather. A proxy godfather? Yeah. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Well, what does it mean? Well, the proxy godfather attends the ceremony, but Den's still the real godfather. Oh, oh, you mean like a stand-in? Right. Yeah, but who? Nick Cotton could do it. Oh, oh that's Nick. Nick. Oh, that's all. Great godfather he'd make. Blimey Mafia godfather. Nick is a very nice boy. Who, Nick Cotton? Mm. Oh, I'd rather have Willie. <laughs> 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 
Yes, but Willie's not tall enough. Oh. Here, I could do it. I'd like to do it. No, no, you're too young. Simon, he's the one. Simon can do it, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. no, he can. No, nah, it'd be better if you do it, you're more adult. Yeah. Don't stand here hanging back. Come on, your country needs you. Well, all right, then, if it'll help. Oh, thanks, Simon. Oh, another thing, Paul. Oh, oh Ange. den has got the car, so I've ordered you a cab. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you shouldn't have we to manage. No, fair's fair. We promised you a car, a car you'll have. Listen, I've got to go. I'll see you later. Right, OK. Hello, everyone. Oh, I'm going to have a drink. Oh, the cake's lovely, Pat. That Ian's the right clever socks, isn't he? I must go into a big pit. Ian! Oh, no, no! Take it easy! Take it easy! Hey, has everybody got a glass? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Is it full? Yeah! Because yeah. yeah. we're going to wet the baby's head, right? Oh, yeah. Okay then, to the baby. To Martin Albert Fowler. Martin oh, yeah. Albert Fowler. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Arthur, oh, no. you have to do it again. Oh. I don't think I've got it. Oh. 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 <laughs> to the baby. To Martin Albert Fowler. Yeah! Martin Albert Fowler. <laughs> <laughs> Of course there was, darling. Dad was there and all. It's one of the few times we ever went anywhere together. <laughs> Oh, you thought when your kid's grown up playing football in the square, you'll be in your wheelchair? I wouldn't be too sure of that, love. Oh, you're still a bit of a lad in your Try to be, lad, try to be. They're still getting up to me, shit. She's got a point, you know. Oh, come on, you're as young as you feel. Yeah, that's the point. Oh, I'm going to get a drink. Excuse me. Oh, 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 oh
You couldn't care, could you? You be bothered. You knew we wanted you to stop far. You couldn't be there, could you? Michelle! I couldn't turn up. I couldn't make it, that's all. Couldn't make it. I think she's had too much to drink. Yeah. Look, I'm disappointed, truly. I really want to be the kid's godfather. But you are. Godfather. But I wasn't there. Proxy. Proxy? Yeah, you're a proxy godfather. Well, I'm a proxy godfather. No, you're not the proxy godfather. You... Simon's the proxy godfather. You're the godfather. Great. Uh, yeah, yeah, great. Well, well, I'll go and sit there in there. Cheers. Bye. You've been with her, haven't you? What you on about? I was with the man from Mercedes Benz. Like hell you was. Like hell I was. How's everyone doing? All right? You all right, Paul? Everything OK? Yeah, we're swimming over here, Anne. Yeah, we're drowning back here. Well, that was very nice, was it, letting everyone down like that? To tell you the truth, Princess, I didn't want to be Godfather. Well, you are the Godfather. So are you. This upset Mum. Everything upsets your Mum. But that ain't fair. Keep smiling, Princess. This is a party. Keep the people happy. Tired, are we, darling? I'm OK. Poor little Tootsie's worn out. Ah, oh, poor old den. You can't stand up, eh? Wonder why. You're like an Apache squaw, always sticking the knives in. I would love to, Dennis. I really would. I'd love to. Not fair, Pete. Give us some warning. Are we all friends here, then? That's what you think, Pete. Uh, just make more sense. I know I should, but it's very difficult to get what you want in this world. It all depends whether you want to go to Christie or you don't want to go to Christie. Both. That's what makes it difficult. Yeah. Go on, Kathy. Oh. Have a oh. night. Hey, Pete is recording. This morning he recorded a rite. A rite of transition. A passage from one state to another. A movement. <laughs> one moment outside the social body, and the next. A few drops of water, a few incantations, and behold, the child is incorporated into the body of society. <laughs> What's he talking about? What are you all about, Doc? Oh, nothing. Pay no attention. Leg is legless. <laughs> <laughs> but he's also quite armless. <laughs> now, will you please give it a rest? One of these days, your bleeding tongue's gonna strangle you, and I hope I'm there to see it. And I hope Pete's got this on his video. It'll give me great pleasure to watch it when I'm old and grey. You ain't gonna live that long. Don't put money on it. <laughs> Can I, with my eyes shut? You fancy some coffee, will huh? Yes, please, darling. Black. What's the time? Well, it's about eight, I reckon. Fancy some boiled eggs, eh? Oh. Bacon, cereal? No, thank you. I don't want any breakfast. I just got up to cook you yours. Oh, I'll buy ages ago. Just finished washing up. What are you doing up so early? Well, it's a lovely morning, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. I'll take your word for it. I'm going back to bed in a minute. Never mind. Wixie starts work today. We can let him cope, eh? Absolutely. Seeing as you're up so bright and breezy, you can take his lordship here for a walk. Oh, we did on that. Are you up to something? Yes. Well, come on then. Tell your old mum. I'm only having a laugh, mum. It's nothing to worry about. Oh, I don't like the sound of this. Like you said, it's Wixie's first day, right? So I went down the joke shop yesterday. Thought I'd give him a day to remember. Oh, I see. Well, when I first started school, they used to pull all sorts of stunts out on us. We didn't mind, really. It's just a sort of initiation, isn't it? So what's the poor bloke got in store, then? Should be starting around there. I'll put some of that black face soap in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you don't mind, do you? Me? No, no, I don't mind at all. That's good, because I've got some right beauties lined up for him for the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. Darling, I think I ought to tell you something. What? Well, that Wixie's dead keen, isn't he? I mean, he must have been up hours before you. Your dad's in the bathroom. Oh, my God. <laughs> Off to school. Oh, we're going to be early for a change, are we? Come, Dad. Morning, darling. Buy a cup of coffee, would you? For a new cloth? Yes, but these would have done me a few more weeks. Well, maybe, but I thought we'd have a fresh start for me first day. I want everything to be just right. Yes, are you saying everything so far has been just wrong? No, just the opposite, Ethel. But you deserve the best. Doesn't matter what the job is, 
you need the tools of the trade, right? Oh, well, thank you very much. It's nice to be appreciated. How's everything going? Oh, all right, thank you, Mr. Watch. Yeah, I've just finished doing the bottling up. Uh, Loft is getting the rolls, and Ethel's just about to do the hoovering. Great. <laughs> oh! What, what's the matter, eh? Oh, my God. It's huge. It's horrible. What is? Well, out there in the bar, you'll have to get the health in. Now, look, calm down and tell us what you saw. A rat. A rat? Yes, twice the size it should be, and just as ugly, and just staring at me with its eyes. We haven't got any rats here. I'll tell you, Den, I've seen it out in the bar, and I'm not doing no more cleaning till you do something about it. Oh, come on, Wixie. All right, Mr. Watts. Oh. Just a minute. Oh. What are you doing that for? It's a trick I learned from an old country bloke. A rat up the trousers could be very nasty. Think about it. Oh, oh I'd rather not. Yeah. Well, anyway, come well, on. I'll show you where it is. You don't believe me, do no, you? Because okay. you don't believe nothing I yes, say. Sir. Look. Oh, where is it? Well, look. <laughs> Blimey, she's right. Oh no, I don't think so, Ethel. Look. <laughs> oh my God! No, it's a rubber one, Ethel. Someone's been playing games on us. I don't think that's very funny. I could have had an heart attack while I was looking at that. Oh well, there's no real harm done, eh? There seems to be a spate of practical jokes in the thick this morning. Yeah. Funny it all starting your first day, innit? Mm. Here you go, Rowley. Catch. Oh! I don't believe this. You're supposed to be there to help people. Yeah. Yeah, well, by the time you get around to giving me an appointment, I could be divorced, itched again, and into trouble with my second marriage. Hello, Matt. Hello, darling. Your dinner's in the oven. Too. Do what? Yeah? Yeah, all right, yes. You'll ring me. Yes. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. What's up? I took your advice, didn't I, darling? I found the marriage guidance council. Oh, great. Well done, Mum. Well, don't get too excited. They're fully booked. Can't fit me in for weeks, maybe months. Seems you've got to put your name on a waiting list. You know nothing they could do in the meantime? Well, they did recommend the Samaritans, but I'm not that desperate. Never mind. I suppose they're overworked. It's the way of the world, isn't it? Still, might get a cancellation. Maybe some couple will make it up, eh? Or kill each other. You did your best anyway. Yeah. Don't you worry, darling. We'll sort it out somehow. You know, how's Wixie getting on? All right, I suppose. No screams from the bar? Eh? My practical jokes. Oh, I don't know. I haven't been down yet. <laughs> Mum, I've picked a right beauty up from the market. Oh, let's have a look. <laughs> Here you go. Dehydrated worms? God, dear. Stick a pellet into any drink and an imitation worm will appear. Lovely. Look, Mum, if anyone buys me a drink tonight, just drop one of them in the glass, eh? Oh, I'd love to see his face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, darling. Let's just hope the public health don't come round. Newt. <laughs> don't ask. There you go. Oh, cheers. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Oh. Well? Well, I've got the ump. Oh. I'm not a quitter, am I, Paul? I mean, I've made me mind up. If something goes wrong, I'm not just going to sit and moan. I'm going to do something about it. Yeah, you're a game girl, aren't you? Right. Don't make any difference, though, does it? I've phoned the marriage guidance council. They can't fit me in for months. I don't suppose Denner go, even if they can. No, it's not quite his scene, is it? He just seems happy to watch it all fall apart around us. The marriage, the pub. Well, I thought the pub was doing well now you've had the conversion. Well, it does make a difference, I suppose. But it's only the regulars, really, isn't it? Mm. We don't get the punters in, especially in the evenings. We need some special events. Yeah. Oh, you mean like this Halloween party they're having down the wine bar? Yeah. Or even something livelier than that. Yeah. I want to do any night. Male stripper, the works. What? Yeah, Dem went spare, of course. Cool, I bet. Mind you, it's always the same if I come up with anything, isn't it? I have to go along with every crackpot scheme he comes up with. Oh, so he give it the elbow. Well, that's a shame. I've always wondered what them male strippers did. Yeah. Oh, just curious. Oh. Nothing dirty. <laughs> <laughs> come along next week, then. You can see for yourself. You mean you go ahead with it? Too true, I am. Still chock-a-block, I see. It's been dead all evening. No, don't blame me, Mr Watts. 
No, it's all right. You get evenings like this. You're doing a great job. Oh, right. Cheers. One word of advice. Yeah? Don't offer any of these matches to our customers. Oh, why is that? Because they're the exploding variety. Oh. We seem to have a joker in the pack, but don't worry. I've sussed out who it is, and I will sort them out. Hello, Pete. What can uh, I get you, mate? No, thanks. Then just popped in to see Kev. Well, you'd have a drink while you're here, wouldn't you? No, no, no. I've got a free glass of punch waiting for me down at the wine bar. <laughs> see you, Danny, when you finish, Kev. Yeah, all right, Pete. But it'll be closed by then. No, no, they've got an extension. Looks like they're going to need it. The place is banged out. Just like you could have done an Halloween party yourself, then. Any chance of going a bit earlier tonight, then? What? Well, if you don't pick up a bit soon, there don't see much point in all of us being here. I'd like to go to that party. I am not letting you off early to line the pockets of the opposition. No way. This place will soon start filling up. Yes, boss. Mm. Hello, Ali, me old mate. Oh, where's this wine by everyone's on about? Me and Sue thought we'd go down here. Sounds like a good laugh. Down the end of Turpin Road, so... Oh, cheers, yeah. Let's go. Oh. Great party down the road, Dan. Yeah, me and Sue just going. It's magic. Yeah. Did you just come in here to tell me that? No, you're on my list. What list? The Halloween list. Trick or treat. Trick or treat. Oh, here you are, Andy. Here's your trick. <laughs> your trick. My <laughs> trick. <laughs> There's no need for that, Dan. No need at all. What? <laughs> the worm is turning. Yeah, I noticed. And you ain't seen nothing yet. Bleaching powder comes next. Oh, right on cue. Still empty, I see. Alfredo, oh, darling. Well, what you grinning at? We're losing a bomb this evening. Like I said, we need some special mm. events, like my hen night. <laughs> Quite well, darling, as usual. Sharon, what? Do me a favour, will you? Scratch my back for me. Yeah, if you'll scratch mine. So it all girls? Yes. And I bet I know who caused it. <laughs> Well, go on, Wixie, tell us. Well, there's nothing to tell. I don't believe you. Why aren't you at school anyway? Because I bunked off. In a way, they let you off games when you get your monthlies. <laughs> you know, we should have seen your group. Did you have to wear all nice clothes and everything? Well, tell us. Well, the gear was pretty straight. I, mean, I suppose that was a mistake, really. It's the look more than the sound that makes a band. You know, you should have had all glitter. When there's a shiny thread in the material, it shines in the light. <laughs> you and Kelvin were going on about starting up a group. They haven't got a clue, though. I mean, they can't even decide whether to make it all steel or rock. What do you think? A rock, of course. I could be the singer. Well, yeah, it should all have a go. They don't want to know about me, do they? Well, go on, two fellas. That could be good. Mm. Well, how did your group start up? Well, just in your front room. Drum box, electronic keyboard and a vocalist. That's all you need, see? Mm. Yeah, then if you're doing gigs, you need a fuller sound, so you're knocking a sax or a lead guitar. But with two synthesizers and a singer, you don't need any instruments. You get your drum box going, right? <laughs> then the keyboards, and then the singer. Dead simple, eh? That's right. Hey, babe, come and hear my song. Hey, babe, won't you come along? Do a party in the street, a place where friends can meet. Come along. Long, 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 do, 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 do. Yeah. Hey, babe, come and hear my song. Woo! Hey, babe, won't you come along? <laughs> we were just having a bit of a jam. Oh, no, traffic jam? Sharon, your mum wants a glass of water and two of her pills. He was just showing me I could start up my own group. Could even do gigs in the bar if it took off. Has a little lady got what it takes? Yeah, she's not bad. Well, how about it then, Dad? Oh, come off it, Sharon. I've got a licence to sell liquor, not to run the London Palladium. I'm going to ask Tina Turner in there. Oh, kids. What's she doing home so early, anyway? Oh, they let them off school. Women's problems. Uh, yeah, um... Business. <clears throat> Spirits. Now, I've got this method and I've been doing it for years. Now, don't worry, everyone does it. Tomorrow, you're going to go down to the wholesale warehouse and buy the best but cheapest spirits you can find. Bring them back here and we're going to pour them into the bottles with the brand labels and sell them at brand prices. It's a little bit on the windy side, but it's fair. And the 2p extra on the glass makes a difference between breaking even and making a small profit. Now, if you're sitting comfortably, I will begin to give you all the details. Oh, well, you're looking particularly lovely tonight, darling, if I do say so myself. Oh. And out on your own and away. Yeah, where's Andy? Oh, he's um, doing a late shit, <laughs> missing all the fun. What's that then? Uh, Miss Bluebell there will explain that she's the brains behind it. Male stripper Debs. And it's not what you think, it's very artistic. Apparently, they practice for years. And it's ladies only. Well, it sounds like I'll have to be the good girl. Can't <laughs> let the blokes have all the fun, can oh, no. we? <laughs> do you want a drink? Oh, it's secrets from you, okay? I never have. I don't want to start now. Well, now you're found that it's not a secret anymore, is it? That's not an answer. Peach, trust me. I just said I do. Well, then stop bloody cross-questioning me. Kath, I want an answer. 
All right for the end, night, Kath? I've been crushing, don't I? Kath! Was it something I said, Pete? I'll come and have a drink, eh? Look, Ange, you're a friend of mine. Yeah? It's a couple of quid to the end of the week. Oh, money, eh? I should have guessed. Uh -oh. She's got a good voice, isn't she? Yeah. You ever get a band together, she's your vocalist. Go on, Sha, sing him something else. Mm -hmm. Sharon, why aren't you at school? It's a free lesson, Dan. I was helping Mum with this poster. Get going, you should be at school for registration. Yeah, but no said... bats, go on on your way. Chop, chop. Bye bye, bye. darling. Thank you. I don't know what you're fooling around for. You'll be downstairs giving me hand. We do have a pub to run, and you are supposed to be working here full time. Yeah, I'm sorry, Dan. He came up to get the car keys, Dan. He's going to pick up that booze, remember? Well, go on, get going. Well, I need some cash. All right. You know what you're doing? Yep. Look at the special offers. Four cases and get the cheapest. And try to be a bit discreet, eh, babes? He knows that. Go on, on you go. All right, then. See you later. I don't know why we employ him. I've been downstairs on my own bottling up for half an hour. It's not his fault, then. Sharon was singing to him. Oh, come on, Dennis. He's a big success. The punters love him. And he's been a big help hoping for tonight with the music. Well, bully for him, as long as you don't expect me to participate. I thought you were going to be there. It's ladies' night. Men ain't allowed. Yeah, but you could do the door. You want it? You got it. As far as I'm concerned, it's a guaranteed dead certain loss, and I want no part of it. Look, we don't get any trade as it is on a Thursday. This could be a big boost. What, a few old ladies sitting around drinking lagers and lime and keeping my regulars away? Oh, yes, going to earn me a fortune. It's not going to be like that, is it, Jim? We're going to have fun. We're going to enjoy ourselves. Good, because I'm going out. Out. Where are you going? Oh, need I ask? Love to see what Arthur wants to feel you. He's waving his arms like someone on a cross-channel ferry. Sausage, chips and beans twice, please. Cross-channel ferry. I've never been on one. Never been abroad, neither. Of course, Ernie was going to take me, but then my romance fell through. Ah, oh, well, that's because of your little willy, isn't it? Yes. Talking of which reminds me of tonight. Here, does Lou know about the stripper yet? Oh, she doesn't. You are a saucy girl, and Oh, no, I'm a little <laughs> devil. That's right. I, I don't think it's got anything to do with my flesh and blood. Well, not if we're talking about what I think you're talking about, anyway. What do you think? I think we're talking about Oh, this sounds very complicated. Can anyone join in? Oh. What now? You know. Stop pretending. Where is it you're going tonight, as if I didn't know? Fine, don't answer. What's the point? Look, Den, have you ever thought that the reason I hate it so much is because I've never met her? I mean, I know where she lives, I've heard her voice on the phone, I've even made acquaintance with her bleeding golf clubs, but I've never met her. She haunts me. She's like a third party wherever we go. She's here now, I can feel her. You're going bonkers. I want to know what sort of person she is. I want to know what she looks like. <laughs> I want you to let me meet her. Out of the question, sorry. I won't make a scene, I promise. It's just that I think it would make me feel better. Listen. Listen. You and Jan are two entirely separate parts of my life. Two different women in two different worlds. And I'm not good enough to meet her, is that what you're telling Dad, me? don't be silly. Different, but equal. And your world's here with me, Sharon Rowley, in the pub, right? Right. And she has a life of her own, and that's hers. And I don't want her muddled up. I wouldn't let her come near Albert Square because that wouldn't be fair on you. That would be invading your privacy. I see. Same as it wouldn't be fair if I was to let you invade her privacy. Meanwhile, you have the best of both worlds, eh? You got all this and a slice of her life too. I need you both. Do you love us both? Of course, it goes without saying. But you're not going to let me meet her, are you? No. Oh, look, if it's going to upset you so much, I won't go out tonight. I'll stay and give you hand on your ladies' night. How's that? Do you mean that? Of course. All right, then. 
Perhaps I'm number one after all, eh? Yeah. You turn around and move off in one yellow fluid movement. Hello, sweetheart. You're looking all comfortable. You girls, the virgins, all right? <laughs> Maybe use the term loose. <laughs> well, there's so few of us left. Really. Oh, so this is where you're riding, is it? <laughs> Have a look, Michelle. Ah, oh, poor little outcast, banished to an upstairs room. Cool, Benny. Where do you think you're going? I'm not having you going out of that bar. Dad? You're too young. That goes for you too, Michelle. Oh, come on, Michelle. He's in a mood. Come on, let's have a peek. We'll have a little notice. <laughs> Ironic, really, isn't it? Too young to watch a stripper, but old enough to get pregnant. Yeah. Ironic Peter, also very sad. Yeah, when 16 is one hell of an age to get pregnant, when you think about it. It certainly is. Oh, it'll give you a shock if to your Sharon, then, eh? <laughs> uh, am I glad I only had sons? <laughs> and poor old Arthur. I mean, I wouldn't even say she was that type, even. I don't know. I'm not so sure about that. I had this funny experience with her a few weeks ago. Yeah? Yeah. I came across her one night while I was out in my cab. I mean, there she was, wandering all on her own, and she had a couple of drinks in her all. Well, I blame Arthur for that. You ought to have better control over her. Well, that's what I thought. So, anyways, I picks her up, takes her back to the cafe for a coffee, you know, sober up a bit. She wanted to talk and you couldn't get rid of her? Yeah, that's right. Well, the same thing happened to me, mate. I came across her in the street. It was late, you know, she had a few drinks. And boy, didn't she want to talk. <laughs> so I took her back to my room, and she never stopped. Well, she don't get on too well with her dad. That's what all that was about, Tom. Just as I thought. Looking for her father. Well, I'm not too sure about that. Seemed to me she was looking for something a bit different. A little girl looking for a shoulder to cry on, that's all. And any man taking advantage of that needs his brain examining. Yeah, but I could have, Tones. I mean, that's all I'm saying. It could have been easy if you happened to be into cradle snatching, which I'm not. Yeah, you had a lot to do with Shell about that time, then. Nah, not really. Yeah, when she was always round here, helping out in the pub to get her bike money, remember? 
Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, she was now, come to think of it. Um, always trying to get me on my own, uh, wanted my advice. Long chats, same sort of thing, really. Uh, when was all this? Uh, two or three months ago? You know something? We was all around at the right time and had the right opportunities. I mean, any one of us could be the father of that baby. Oh, don't say that. Don't give me a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, well, all I hope is that my Pauline and Arthur ain't going around checking dates and that sort of thing. No, it's got to be a boy her age, isn't it? Someone from school or something. Well, I've got my own suspicions. Yeah, and so have I. <laughs> is this where the big knobs hang out, is it? Now what have I done? Now, are you ready then, girls? Yeah! Right, come on then. A nice big round of applause. Welcome onto the stage, the talents of the fabulous and lovely Frankie. Let's hear it go! Yeah! 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 yeah. Oh. Something she said? Nick Cotton. Oh. Nick Cotton. No, Tony, just forget it. It's nothing. I'm fine now, look, honestly. Just a minute. <laughs> Angie. No, <laughs> oh, I'm trying to do a little skip for his hair, but you can show him a thing or two. Can you come outside a minute? Yeah, all right. Yeah, Paul, look after the bath this with you a minute. Yeah. Tell you. No, we won't. Yes, you will. Because I've been a right idiot. I'm being blackmailed. Mailed? Told you you'd laugh. We're not laughing, are we, Ken? Yeah. You will when I tell you bye. Nick Cotton. I thought I could handle it. But I can't. So now I'm going to have to tell you something I didn't want to have to tell anyone, ever. Oh, come on, Kath. You can tell us. We won't mind whatever it is. Well, if you tell us, we can help you, can't we, babe? When I was 14... Oh, <laughs> it's not so dreadful, really. 
When I was 14, on my way home from school, I was raped. And one way and another, for things being what they are, nine months late, Ray Presto, I had a baby. Yes, a baby, Pauline. Heard of them? They do come along every so often. Nick Cotton nicked me medical cards from Dr. Legg's surgery. I've got to pay him to stop him telling Pete. Stop him telling? You mean to tell me you haven't told Pete? <laughs> Big mistake, eh? Chickens always come home to roost in the end, don't they? How much is he asking for things? 200 quid. 200 quid? A little toe rag? Oh, Kath, look, I'm going to have to go back to the bar. Look, we'll get the end night out of the way. Then you, me and Paul sit down and we'll sort it all out. All right. Yeah, and listen, Kath, the first thing you've got to do is you've got to tell Pete. I can't! I can't tell Pete! Kath, but you must, because then Nick Cotton will have nothing to blackmail you over. Oh, come on, we'll help you. I'll sort it out later, darling. Yeah, what you want to Nick Connors like one hand on my cafe, a murderer! Hey, calm down, man. All she said is upset and not touched her. I'm sick of her. Look, relax. Sit down. Wait until the evening and ask her yourself. Look, my cafe don't make fusses. She's as hard as they come. Are you sure she was crying, Tom? Yeah. Nah, nah. Nah, she never cries. What's going on down there, Ben? I don't know. All I know is that Nick Cotton's a nasty piece of work, and if he has done something, well, maybe we can get him for it. How are we going to do that? Nail him. Yeah, but how? Okay, so he's the rotten apple in the barrel. We all know that. And the thing to do with rotten apples is to chuck him out. But, but with Nick, I don't know, it's so, so slippery. Yeah, he never pin nothing on him. He always wriggles out of it, doesn't he? Then we haven't dealt with him right. You took the law into your own hands, remember, last time, and that beat him up. Yeah, and that didn't work, did it? And it never would. You've got to get him proper. Get him legal and get him put away. Well, I don't see, yeah. I mean, he only got away with murder last time, didn't then he? Then we have to box clever. Use the noddle. If he's done something to upset Cathy, that's what we get him for. Look, you four, out of my way. I'm going down there to find her. Sod your in nights, then. She's more important than me than some fat. Take these clothes off. Leave me. Call me back, Paul. Quick, call me back. There he is, girl. Come on, a nice big band of clothes for the fat of the fat of the Frankie, then. What, mate? Well, girls, that brings us together. You don't have to look if you don't like it. On behalf of the artists, I hope you've had a wonderful time. We certainly have.